the 12th man will definitely be ready here in Seattle for this matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Seahawks. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you've got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle it. Muscles through the defender, and he'll step out of bounds. They face first down. Spring under fire on that throw. It's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Going to take it the distance. The 10 tackles made. We watched them in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Here's the quick toss. Touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Ravens getting set for the extra point. Count it. Ravens getting set to kick it away. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. Blindly spins away from the hit. The Ravens defense now is going to go nickel. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Looks to his left. Intercepted. Bringing the play to an end. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Offense lines up here. and 10 trying to get it outside before the defense is set gain of 16 the offense has done a good job they're now down inside the 20 but here's where it gets tough because your plays are limited because the field has been shrunk They're able to move the chains after that last run. Back to the ground now on first down. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes we get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. What a catch. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Ravens with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. 
the Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. And that return ends rather quietly, short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. The Ravens lined up in the nickel, first down and 10. Terrell Suggs able to make the tackle. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job, makes the tackle. He makes the catch. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Perfect defense called that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking to the right side and throwing. The pass doesn't find a mark. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. The Ravens with a nickel look here on defense as they go ground here, running to the right. Elon makes the tackle. Offense lines up here. Third and six. Looking across the middle. Interception. And he's brought to the ground. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open. He tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turned into? An interception. Nickel formation here for the defense. They motion the receiver around to the other side. And Rice has got the toss, secures the football. Nice chunk of yardage picked up by Rice. Ray Rice just hides behind those big offensive linemen. Hard to find him, and all of a sudden when you do see him, it's too late. He gets by you. That time he picks up big yards. Here's the first snap after the big play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Flip to the outside. They pounce on him there. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Sends the halfback in motion. Second and seven. Toss to the outside. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. They send the tight end in motion. Third and five, looking for a receiver on the left side here. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good route that time by the wide receiver on the out route. Nice throw by the quarterback. This is what they call a timing route. Well, they were right on time.
first down here after the completion. They'll run it off the toss. Picks up five. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice box, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Coming up, second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. up only one I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this when you just line up and run the football like that you're not going to get a lot of yards and that time they just got a short game Lines up here. They feed him the ball again. The Ravens now move the chains. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? now after picking up the first on the ground up the middle when you are behind and the offense is driving the football against you you got to take a chance to stop this drive Long drive continues. Second and goal from the three. He is in for the touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Ravens getting set for the extra point. It's good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch.
Setting up in the pistol on this play. Now first and ten. They feed the running back. And gains 12. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. He'll stay on the ground on first down. It's away from the stack. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Gets it again here. To the right side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down and five. Another handoff. Running to the left side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury and uh, it's just it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. First and ten, leading on that running attack again here on first down. Two-minute two warning. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Second and nine. Staying on the ground. Running to his right. Tackled at the 18. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? the defensive unit. They come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incompletion there, just not quite able to get the feet down. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Second down following that incompletion. Second and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. He'll go to the left. Touchdown, Seattle. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. The point after is good. Kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. That's a timeout call. 
The Ravens' return team is ready. They're setting up return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First and ten. Play action fake. Right where it had to be. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Scott's going to receive the toss. That's a tackle at the 48. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and eight. The throw to the left. That's an interception. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. Shotgun formation. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help him out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Wilson from the shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Interception. Uh, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. down on the way. Blacko still got the football after the play fake. He has the ball deep down. A foot race to the end zone. Touchdown! What a job by the receiver making that catch on the deep ball. Looks it in, makes the catch, and and goes all the way for the touchdown. The Ravens lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He's got a chance to return this one. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and he's going to be tackled right around the 43. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game, uh, tight coverage, that time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. First and 10. Perfectly thrown. The Seahawks signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Easy, easy. 
That reception gave them the first down. Goes deep to Sidney Rice. As good as it gets. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Got a chance to return this one. This will be the last play before halftime. First and ten, play action. Almost intercepted that time. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Second down coming up. Flacco's got the football after the play fake. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. We're back here now in this one, where the Ravens lead by 14. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Carroll during halftime. It's an uphill battle for his team guys as they head into the second half, but he says it's not the time to get frustrated. There's no reason to try and be a hero. Just follow the game plan and things will work themselves out. I'll send it back up to you guys. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. The defense comes out in the dime. Suggs has the sack. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Throws to the right. The Seahawks get a first down. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Looking to the right side and throwing. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Baldwin's lined up in the slot on second and ten. Baldwin's going to secure the handoff. Down to the 34. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards to get some another first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Wide to the left. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well. And gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second down and 10, heading right. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. I think Russell Wilson caught everybody in the NFL by surprise last year. He threw the football down the field with great success. It also plays like this. How about that run for big yards? Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Inaccurate with that one. Setting up in the pistol on this play. The wide receiver in motion. Second down and 10. He's going to the left. 
Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Lined up in the pistol formation. Third and three. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it. Fired it. Got the touchdown. An extra point is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The flag is out as the play continues. The receiving team has the recovery. Illegal touching offense. You try the onside kick, and you've got to make sure, first off, that the ball travels 10 yards. That's a penalty. Hey, you know what you say to the kicker here in this situation? If you're the coach, you count to 10. That's how far it's got to go, son. Get the ball 10 yards. Offense lines up here. First and 10. This is a screen play all the way. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They've got a first down now after that catch. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Could have been intercepted. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. Play action. The defense gets a sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Third and forever. Blacko still has it after some nifty play action. The quarterback is getting very familiar with the ground as he's decked for the second consecutive play. Oh, unfortunately, I knew that feeling as a player too, Jim, and then I, I don't know who to blame here. The quarterback held on to the football a little too long, but the offensive line has just got to be more aggressive and they got to be tougher to keep these guys off of Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. First and 10, Harvin's going to take the handoff now. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. The Seahawks in the pistol. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Second down and five. And he'll go to the left. And that's a gain of 10. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind the defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. First and 10. And they go back to the ground. They knock them down behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. 
they motion the receiver around to the other side. To second and 13. Handoff. Slashes to the left side. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Right back to him one more time. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. First down and 10. On the spot. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. That long gain sets them up here on this play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. They'll go ground. He'll go left. Nice tackle. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. And he's taken down. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. Offense lines up here. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Ravens official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue, and he'll be back on the field shortly. He converts here on the field goal. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. First down here. Halfback sent in motion. Tosses it to the running back. Picks up nine. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and short, following the run. Pierce is going to secure the football on the toss. Runs out of bounds. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. down here after the run into the open flat just had to avoid the sack incomplete
Pittas playing out of position in the backfield here. That catch will extend the drive. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Going across the middle. He's in for the touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The point after try is in the books. Ravens getting set to kick it away. He stacked up at that point. The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. Now first and ten. To the ground here. Elam is there and makes the stop. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. They run right. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run gets him a few yards. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Third and two. The reception, easy, wide open. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. When you're an offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Good job by the offense, kid. Another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Lined up in the pistol formation. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Easy, easy. Here we go. Here we go. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Easy, easy. First and ten. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and goal. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. They go to the right side. Touchdown and drawing close. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. And the extra point is good. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back.
kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. First and ten. Play fake here. He'll fire it out to the left. Thrown incomplete. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. Throws the pass. That pass was hurried. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Offense a little too slow getting set at the line on that one. Offense. Still first down. After that penalty, it'll be first and 15. Setting up a little screen. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Here's the quick toss to the running back. They deck him in the backfield. formation for the defense here. Trying to work that left side. Zeroed in on that one. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Quarterback flips it to the running back. Phil, it's late, and the only thing they can't afford here is a turnover. Well, this is the old phrase that we hear all the time. Do they have the killer instinct? I think they have the talent and the killer instinct. Get in here. Find a way to score and end this game.
Second down now. Will run. He takes it across. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The Ravens line up now for the point after. There is a flag down. Extra point is good. Offside defense. What well, looks like the defender was caught in the neutral zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. This quarterback's a little sneaky, you know. And he begins his return. <laughs> Miracles do happen, but this team's going to need one probably to pull this off. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Another name for the fly route, the go route. It's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense and make a big play. First down following the long play. Makes the grab, tackled at the 18. Down inside the red zone now, trying to score as quickly as possible. And listen, the defense has got to know the situation here. It's okay to give up a few yards, maybe give up a completion. Just don't give them the big play that gets the quick score. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Second and ten. Throws a strike. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The give. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Late in the game, threatening to go in. An offense that needs a touchdown on this possession. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Any chance to win this game, they've got to get it done here, Jim. When you get in situations like this, I think it comes down to the offensive coordinator.